Welcome to the WCI presentation on Tableau charting. My name is Neil Dave and I'll be walking you through today's presentation. With Tableau, they've allowed us a, um, a robust amount of new charting features that a lot of other reporting tools don't have the ability to do. A lot of reporting tools have the ability to create bar charts, line charts, and pie charts. But one of the things that differentiate the Tableau from other places is the fact that the way you can create these newer types of charts fairly easily. So for example, here we're going to walk through how to create a dual access chart, a, uh, a tree map, and then also a heat map. So as, you, as we walk through this demo, you'll notice how easy these things are to put together. Okay. So without further ado, let's go and get started. So to create a brand new dashboard, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine three different worksheets and then put them together in one final dashboard. So the first one I'm going to create is a dual access chart. So in here what I'll do is I'll put in uh, month name, I'll put that in my column, and then and I will put in margin into my row, and then it automatically creates a bar chart for me. So what I'll do now is I'll throw in sales revenue. Instead of putting it on the graph, I'll put it into the axis side of it, and now I've got a dual access chart. Right? So I've got to put two measures and one dimension in order for this to work correctly. Um, one of the first things you notice off the bat is how the axes are not synchronized. So the quick way to do that is if I right click on my sales revenue axes, I'll just go ahead and synchronize it and it automatically does it for me. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the style here to making a, my sales revenue into like a bar chart and then also changing um, the margin into a line chart. So what I'll do is um, first let me go and clean some things up here and just make sales revenue look a little bit nicer. Make that capital R. And then I'm going to go ahead and format this as well here in a second to actually, here I'll do that here in a second. For sales revenue, let's go ahead and make that a bar chart. And then margin, we'll go ahead and make that into a line chart. So as you can see here, the line chart is kind of hidden from my bar chart. So what I'll do is I'll change the color to making it less transparent. And now it stands out a little bit more here, right? So now you can see that. And so what I'll do now is I'll put in my margin to display the label. So when I put that in there, I can go into my label. I'm going to open that up. And then let's mark the label here. And now I can see that. And then one of the other things I'll do here is uh, format. And so um, I'll format it to where <clears throat> my margin will be cleaned up a little bit better. Okay. So what so I'll do is go to margin, format, and now I'll change my number default to currency because we are looking at currency here. Okay. All right. And so I'm showing my labels here, and then I will format my, my axes as well. So I'll change that to custom and make that into zero. And I'll do the same thing here for my sales revenue axes as well. Okay. Okay. So now I've got a simple bar chart with line chart with the dual axes. Right. So pretty easy, pretty straightforward. That's how you can basically do that. All right. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead and rename this. Let's go ahead and call this sales margin for store by month. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this as well. Right. Okay. So the second chart I'm going to create is a simple heat map. So what I'll do here is then I'll just put in store name into my rows column, or rows, excuse me, and then I will put in quantity sold as well. Okay. So under the show me option, I can change this into a heat map or better known as a highlight table. So what I'm going to do here is that instead of it showing in this color format, I'm, I can change it to edit the color. So under the sum quantity sold, I'll click on the drop down arrow, go to air, uh, edit colors, and then from the drop down, I will change this into an orange, white, blue div uh, diverging chart. And now I'm going to reverse it so the less um, the least amount of quantity sold is on the left in the blue format, and the mo more quantity sold is uh, highlighted in the right, on the right side with the darker red color. Okay, so 
that's basically it on how to change into a heat map. And again, the less colors, the lighter colors are, in this case, displayed in a lighter color or bluer color than the more is put into a darker red type of uh, coloring. All right. So once again, I'm going to go ahead and rename this to quantity sold by store. Um, the last chart that we'll go ahead and create is going to be one for a tree map. Okay? So what I'll do here is then I will put in year, quarter, and quantity sold. Okay? And then again, I'll use the show me option here and I'll change that into a tree map. Okay. So again, I'll change the coloring of this to... Um, I'm going to edit the color here. I'm going to reverse it first, and then I'm going to go and change it back to my orange, white, and blue. Okay. And then one of the things I want to do here is I want to display quantity sold. So what I'll do here is I can put quantity sold back into my label, and now you can see it right there. One of the final things I want to do is for like the year and quarter, I can just simply format it. And change this to where quantity sold. I just want to put that onto one line, make it look a little bit nicer. All right. And so now I've got my quarter, my year and quarter on one line, and then my quantity sold down here. Okay. Sorry, I needed to add one more thing there. Okay, so that's my tree map. So basically what's going on here is that we have a quantity sold. The higher numbers are going to be displayed at the top left, and then the lower numbers are going to be displayed to the bottom right. So that's how a basic tree map works. All right? And so let me go ahead and rename this. We'll call this one quantity sold by quarter. Okay, so now that we've got that, I'm ready to put this into a dashboard. All right, so I'm going to go and click on the dashboard button here. Let's go and put sales margin in here. And then I'm going to put quantity sold by store right up here and then quarter here. Okay, so now that I've got my dashboard in here, I can do some cleanup here. So in order to make this dashboard more interactive to where we can synchronize everything into one, what you can do is you can create a filter that actually filters out and makes it um, interchangeable within all three worksheets. So the way I can do that is I'm going to go back to my first one. And in this case, you know what, I'm going to create, I want to filter on year. And in here I'll select all of them. And then store name as well. And I'll put that in the filters. Select all there. So I've got that. Okay, and then quantity sold for my second one, I'll do the same thing here. I'll put year and store name. All right. And then the third option is again I'll do year and then um, store name again. Okay. So what I can do now is in my dashboard, I'm going, again, to make this interactive by simply adding those filters into my report. So what you can do is under the quick filters in the analysis dropdown, go to quick filters, and then I'm going to put in year, and then quantity sold. I'm sorry, store name. Okay, so now I'm going to move some of, the things, some of these things around, right? So measure names for my margin and sales revenue pertains to my uh, axes chart, so do access chart. So I'm going to just go ahead and display that right there. And my quantity sold, I'm going to place that in here and move that around because that kind of shows my, my uh, capabilities of my uh, chart here, of my top two charts here, my heat map and then my uh, tree map. Okay. So what I want to do now is I want to make this, if I check some of these or uncheck them, notice that I am only seeing 
certain objects change here, right? But it's only pertaining to one specific um, worksheet. So if I change like uh, E Fashion Dallas, uh, Colorado, only certain things are being changed here. The whole dashboard is not interactive. It's just only by certain um, worksheets. So in order to fix that, what you can do is uh, under this drop down, we'll choose this first one here. Go to uh, apply to worksheets and then select uh, selected worksheets and then we'll select both of them and hit OK. And then we'll perform the same action onto the year filter. We'll select all of them as well. Okay, so now when I uncheck, let's only look at uh, 2001. Notice that how my numbers change here. Okay, so let's look at just instead of that, let's do 2003 for all stores. Okay, there's where my numbers change as well. If I just want to see Austin, there's where my chart changes and see how it becomes interactive within the other worksheets as well. And again, if you're happy with it, you can go to presentation mode and then you've got your dashboard presentation mode. And then again, you can interact with it in here as well. Okay. Well, that concludes the presentation on charting with Tableau. You guys have a wonderful day. Thank you.